Oh my goodness. <laughs> We're going to be changing the format of the show because it just, after four seasons, still is extremely frustrating. And uh, I hate putting you guys through this each week where we have these technical issues and I'm still I'm not hearing myself. It doesn't look like I'm on. So something went wacky again. Can you guys hear me? This is the weirdest, the weirdest day ever. <laughs> I can hear me now. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Wacky Thursday with Claire. Oh, my goodness. Hello, Amy. Hello, country. Look, Wormer. I am, I'm just about fed up with going live, you guys. It doesn't mean I'm not going to keep doing it. I am just going to be changing the way I do things to make it less stressful for me and so that I can serve you better. Right now, I should already be ready and despite being here and focusing on only this for hours, more technical issues occurring. So bear with me and we'll just get as far as we get today. I'm going to make a binding to go around the top of the bag. And before I sew the binding in, I'm going to insert a strap so that I can carry it. How are you guys doing today? There's not even any rain. I don't have rain as an excuse. Do you guys forgive me? One of the things I'm going to incorporate into this strap, as promised, is this cording that is generally used as piping, which we could sew in using the Pearlson piping foot. But in this case, I'm going to use it as a strap. But I don't just want that as a strap. I think it'll dig in if I put a lot in the bag. So instead, I want to have a strap that is about three inches wide. And then I'm going to have two rows of this to go along the line of the strap. So it will add extra strength. And instead of pushing in in one location, it'll be more evened out across my shoulder. Sound like a good idea? You guys like that? 7 a.m. Friday. Oh. Hi, Lynn. <laughs> Welcome. Soon it will be fall and it will be 8 o'clock in the morning when we go live. I had this hanging and I thought this was the fabric. It's not, though. I'm just going to grab another piece. Maybe it's in here. No. Nope. Ah, despite how organized I get. Okay, so it's very strange. I'm going to do something to make the strap stronger without using traditional methods because I try not to be always traditional. I try to show you guys thinking outside the box or outside the sewing machine. And today I'm going to use the Fuse and Fuse stabilizer, if you have it, and insert this into the strap by fusing the strap together using that. So there'll be two different colors if I can get this. Let's get a different camera angle here. Let's see what's going on here. What is going on here? 
shouldn't be seeing me there. I'm going to shut this off. I had that ringer off. What happened? Oh my goodness. Got my cell phone, decided to go ringing. And I had it off, but it didn't stick. 2.15. Hello, everybody. Oh my goodness. You're so patient. At least this time I was able to go back online. So this is the blue that I was using previously that I had out and already ironed but I cannot locate it the fuse and fuse is a fusible on both sides but it has a paper release liner on one side and it comes in 8 inch and 16 inch size rolls this is some scrap that I have that's already narrow. You could cut by taking the stabilizer off the roll. You could then lay it down and cut a strip that's however long the roll is that you bought of a smaller size should you have a project that requires a lot of a small width. And I'm thinking... 16 times 2 is probably a good length. No echo? Do you guys have an echo? You shouldn't have an echo. Hello, Charlene Winnington. New name to the live. And Susan. And let's see who else is on there. Well, I'm not going to distract myself. Is that Ellen? Is Ellen in here today? Oh my gosh. Hi, Ellen. We need to catch up. I hope everything's going well. But this is too wide for the actual strap that I want to do. And I want to add some little strips to go across to encase or hold the cording in place along I can see it in my mind well I haven't designed it so here we go again I'm designing on the fly with you guys and I'll let you help decide what I do this is definitely not the same blue where's the piece I already ironed I did get one step ahead in that I sewed the side of the bag and I did so by using wrong sides together. If you want to catch up on this bag, go to the Fabrically Speaking playlist. I have a link in the description below the video. And then you can go ahead and complete this whole bag. This is the back of the bag, which has some trim on it. And then the front of the bag has a pocket that I created for dirty shoes to be inserted into. So we learned how to do a pocket side zipper with piping as an accent. If you're interested in learning all these different techniques, you have access to it in the Fabrically Speaking Live playlist. All right. So by sewing wrong sides together, we can then sew and flip it right side out and sew right sides together and encase the seam and we don't have to do any lining or have any uh, overlock machine in order to finish the edges. However, if you would like to finish the edges, you could use the satin edge foot for a overlock sewing machine substitute. If you didn't know that the satin edge foot does just about everything a serger does, now you know it does. So let's see, this is not a very good cut, so I must have done this without a ruler. I don't cut without rulers, do I? What I have here is a cutter pillar light tablet. And when I use the cutter pillar light tablet, I can light it up by plugging it in. It has a plug. And I don't have the board 
set up with the plug near me. Oh, I gotta turn it around. Just very sturdy. And this is the Ultra board. We do have that members sale still going on right now at creativefeet.com. By three taps, you get to the third level. I have two mats on here right now. One of the things I like to use it for is if I'm quilting, I have the size of my pieces after they're sewn together underneath so that I can lay it over and make sure that it's square and matches. If it's if it sticks out too far, then I can just chop it. And be actually uh, sizing up every block as you go. It makes quilting a lot faster and a lot less stressful. But for right now, I'm just gonna use this as a cutting mat. And I don't need the light for that. I'm not going to cut the paper yet because it's easier to iron it to the fabric first and then cut it. I also have to make sure I have binding to cut for this. Luckily I have a lot of this. So I need a 16 inch times two, 32 inch long piece and I don't have it. This happens often when quilt binding. You don't have the amount of fabric that you need in order to complete the binding around the edge of a quilt, especially if you're doing a king size quilt. That's me getting my iron ready. my ironing surface. Um, what I did answer, Lynn, is that we give you a discount. You just put it in your cart. And then we have a deal that we do for those of you outside of the United States who don't like the shipping cost of things is we have a, a free shipping over $99 in your purchase at creativefeet.com plus right now 15% off if you enter member all uppercase into it. It says it right at the top of creativefeet.com and and the website to shop is at the top of the chat window right now if you need that link. So what we do is we credit you back the cost of the shipping to a, a state in the United States. So we kind of split the cost of the, of the shipping with you. Uh, we wouldn't be able to honor your shipping cost as 100%. It is in the, in, in the, in the website under our shipping policy. If you need me to explain it better, I did a much better job in writing than I'm doing right now verbalizing. And uh, we never really say the price of anything while we're on video because the video lasts forever and prices are ever changing, as you probably no doubt are realizing. Hopefully they'll start going down at some point. Actually, there is hope because the shipping companies have started having a different shipping method. Come on, there's isn't there water in here? I thought I filled it. I wonder if it tipped over. Okay, well that wasn't expected. I know I for sure filled it up. Not sure what day it was. Whenever you have a crease this intense on your fabric because they sat on the shelf so long, if you add a little bit of white vinegar to the water, it helps to release that. And then you can use steam as well, which does require water being in your iron. But that's okay. I'm going to fuse these two fabrics together. And when I do, that should go away. But first I'm going to make, I got to remember I'm doing two things. First, I'm going to make the binding so I don't forget. Because I feel like I'm, I might. What is on your sewing table, you guys? 
give my brain a break while you share with me what you're sewing. And are you sewing yet? I know summer does make a lot of us slow down, but school's back in for those of you who have little ones in your life. We also had some possibility of some flooding in Arizona because of the Hurricane Hillary that, and it actually just zipped right by my location. How about you, Amy? Did you get any weather from the storm down in, in Phoenix? So binding first, and what I want to do on binding is I'm going to do some two and a half inch strips. I think binding would look best with the contrast of the dark blue, don't you? Give me a thumbs up or say blue or this, because right now I can decide. I could also do blue on this side and the contrast on that side. What do you think? Knowing you guys, I'm going to get ready to do that. <laughs> if I can find the extra fabric. I think there's someone in here switching things out that I can't see. Cause, oh, there it is. So what do you think? Half and half binding? Why not? I say, why not? You know, we could also do blue, alternate, blue, alternate, blue, alternate. Or I could do the faux piping. Oh, we could do so many different things. There's no limit to what our creativity can provide. It's too early in the season for you to, for you. I get it. You're down in the hot box. I'm really excited because I am ready and beginning to film all of the Creative Feed Extensive videos. So those of you who have signed up for the course, get ready. Now I'm pretty sure that this is going to be enough if we just cut two, one, one of the dark blue and one of the alternate. Two and a half inches. Of course, I could do any size of binding. I don't have to do the two and a half inch strip. It's got to go around the circumference of the bag though. So I think I'm going to need a little bit more, which makes me want to just stick with one color. <laughs> I'm just going to do the blue. And I'm going to cut three two and a half inch strips for this bag. So I have extra if I need it. Making sure that I have, ooh, this, this is all dirty. Oh, how embarrassing. Somebody used it for something they shouldn't have. Naughty, naughty. Do you guys have any gremlins in your house that take your stuff and use it for things that shouldn't be used for? Hello. So I'm just folding it over and I'm gonna, I have it bigger than two and a half. No, I'm not gonna do that. It's too easy to make a mistake. Which way should you cut it? We have the against the grain and with the grain. And I honestly prefer to use the more, the more uh, rigid way, but going around a bag is easy. I'm just going to cut, I'm just going to cut two at a time. It's amazing how fast it gets hot in here.
What would you like me to teach next week? I feel like playing with the octi hoops. Would you guys like an octi hoop project next week? And if so, what would you like me to show? And if you are new to my channel and you don't know what the heck an octi hoop is, what you see right here on the wall and up here and they can be used for quilting and for embroidery and you'll find them at creativefeet.com they have their own page at creativefeet.com under the products link so i've got it on there so if i go to three i got a two inch How many of you guys have the octi hoops? Go ahead and do a thumbs up. Tell people what you think. Do you like your octi hoops? Or should I do an inking lesson? Oh, I'd love to do that. So now I have two of these sewn together, or not enough to go all the way around the bag. So I'm gonna need to do one more. And this time I just don't have it folded over. I replaced my blade. Oh, it's just like magic. I hear the angels singing now when I cut. <laughs> For those of you who have had too small of a piece of fabric in order to achieve a project before you probably have sewn fabric together by crisscrossing your fabrics like this and then sewing across and that is what I'll be doing we do want to make sure we have right sides together and when a fabric is folded a lot it has the crease that helps you identify which side is right and which side is wrong but can't always count on that when you have a square fold to make sure that these fabrics stay together and I'm making a just making sure that the corner up here lines up with this corner and this lines up with the edge and when you do that I then use my liquid based glue and pin it together usually this is plugged because I'm bad about putting my cap back on ooh octi hoops oh I like the enthusiasm Amy I almost didn't show you this <laughs> I'm like it wouldn't be fair I've been working on this for a few weeks I can't just stop there we go. So it's just a, a liquid. You can see it's just a, a little drop of, you would think this is glue, but it's actually a water soluble stabilizer that is in this bottle that's wet. And once it dries, whatever you put it on will have a film of water soluble stabilizer that stops your fabric from stretching. You can also use it to pin. So I take this and I pin this corner here and there, and then slide my finger over a little bit and then lay it down. Doesn't require very much at all. And then another dot right here. So all three of the most important points are in essence pinned together. And you just kind of let it sit there. Slide it around. Make sure that you do right sides together now. So that requires me flipping this over and then laying it down. Boy, have I got a wrinkled piece. If I can do this without accurate ironing, be pretty impressive huh the glue makes it so much easier so if you don't know where it is here you can put a little drop on that 
piece instead. Notice that I always slide my finger on the on the dot of glue. I do that so I don't have a big blob. Instead, it's a, a area that holds it. So it's a lot more secure than just one little dot. I know, Amy, if you were here, you could fill my iron for me. All right. One time, I didn't, more than one time, I didn't put the fabric over, and then I ended up having this not done correctly. So I'm going to set this aside and allow it to dry. And now think about my handle or the bag. It's another item that's not 36 inches. And that's my guess. I remember making bags for myself before and 32 was the magic number for a non-adjustable bag. Now I want it to be bigger. I first need to sew it together and then lay it down on, this, on the fuse and fuse. Ooh, I could do see now now I'm like thinking designing don't ever iron on the pad I've done it it's very disturbing when you realize you have I have warped it before and I was amazed that I didn't destroy it but there's no way I can do this without ironing I have I usually have my water bottle right near me but it's not even near me right now. What am I gonna do if I get thirsty? I'm going to get water. Let's see how well this goes. I have to move my table to get to the other side of the studio. That's how tight things are in here. No, you don't turn off. Water bottle. I know I had it today. Oh well. Right now I've been doing intermittent fasting, so I've been drinking this water to get electrolytes and minerals that I need. And if you've noticed that I'm getting a little thinner. I'm really pleased with the results, but I'm going to go ahead and put this in my iron right now so I can stop complaining. Wish me luck. I'm not spilling. This is pretty full. I have no idea where my regular bottle is that I paint, painted. I know I did this, so I must have like tipped it over and it leaked and I forgot. Do you guys work like this ever? I usually always have a water bottle in my sewing area just for filling the iron. But I have small hands. I'm going to do this over the trash can. If you're interested in knowing how I'm fasting, and it's very healthy to do this. Today is a eating day. I love the eating days in between. But most of the time you eat every day. And it's a fast like a girl. And it helps you balance your hormones and reset your insulin, your body's response to insulin by Dr. Mindy Pels, and it's fantastic. I have been trying to lose weight for years, and finally something is actually working. And if fasting sounds scary to you, know that it's, it's not hard at all with this. So this is not wide enough down here. I just creased it. Yay, I have steam. 
and water to spray. I've been representing this iron terribly, like it doesn't iron well, but it really does if you use steam. And if I had the vinegar, it would even work better for getting these really big creases out. You guys haven't said anything for a while. Let's see, how can I get you guys to be chatty? Did any of you go through Hurricane Hillary? Or are any of you dealing with, I can't remember what the next one's name is, if it's Harvey or something like that. Lynn, if you 